sa major topic. So, let us uh, talk about uh, those uh, wood uh, structures that uh, we will study under flexural axial loading. The design of uh, those components. So, let us what use the previous uh, design concept that uh, give it <coughs> with applicable factors. So this is a very critical in uh, actual application and expect different engineers to have different opinion on this, right? The code only suggests and recommends. The engineer decides which one, which value, which standard to use. Of course, with justification, not uh, only about the mood of the engineer. There must be some justification, some reasoning to it. So, if uh, we are uh, having a beam application, therefore, uh, the uh, most important criteria is bending. And although it is a flexural component, there uh, might be some uh, wind and other uh, type of loads that will create one. Horizontal loading and therefore, even though it is a bit, it may, in addition, have axial load. So, let us uh, look at this. So, the topic is flexor and axial load. So, it means combination. These two types of loading are in addition to each other. Because of the word N, it is not uh, flexor or axial loading. So, flexural stresses and axial stresses are experienced by the structure at the same time. So this is a very important uh, difference from our uh, previous discussion. So, there might be some similarity and additional concept uh, specific to this discussion. So, therefore, let us uh, delve into that uh, principle. What are the uh, criteria behind this uh, type of design? Okay. For the building capacity, so you already know what is the uh, use it every time, all of the time. Uh, this is the uh, formula for uh, determination of moment. Moment is the load. And we have what? The stress of the stress property of the beam. The strength property of the beam. What is the formula relating moment of the load to the strength of the uh, wood. Anybody give us the relationship with the garage? Who give us the relationship? How moment of the load is related to this? We want to know this because the load must be carried by the strength of the wood. So, load is equal to something. Okay. It's a very popular formula. We always use it all the time. How to relate moment? We need bending. So bending is uh, represented by F B. D. So times what? This is a very common formula. So when we are using LRFD, we are using LRFD in this course, 
So let us provide the more appropriate type of menu what we call ultimate. Okay. That is for LRT. Okay. For many, there are uh, loading factors specific to each type of loading. So in, in this case, uh, using the different factors here, if you use the different factors here, so you can adjust the value, adjusted value. So that uh, prime meaning we adjusted the value into some appropriate uh, value, design value. Okay. So that is now the main principle behind then for example uh, if there is um, distributed load uh, meaning only in wood only in timber, only in lumber that we use many many factors you cannot recall any type of material that you have so much factor is only design material that uh, we can talk of there are so much factors there are 12 factors for example in RCD there are only two factors the same way with steam it is also indicated here for uh, your information that another type of Internet product that is uh, described here is laminated linear lumber. LBL, laminated linear lumber. There are other types of linear lumber. Uh, in my previous uh, timber design subject, let us do the explanation of this additional project. This is the main and there are uh, several design criteria using these different factors but let us discuss those criteria in example. This is for stability. Those are the uh, properties and factors for stability. So, so we have already uh, the uh, repress values. Uh, well, so last meeting, we have this, uh, we have this formula. Okay, so we have the formula. So for what? For everything. This. this is adjusted, this is standard value. So if that is, if this is B, so we have what? Like this. Like this. Right. Priority factors. So these are the uh, two priority factors. Including this one. So, time. Okay. So time is actually related to what? This time, the effect factor is related to the seven combination of loads. So in this case, dead load and live load. So, number two.